time now for bringing America back, our special ABC News series about Americans who are fighting to improve the lives of others. Well, you know, I guess he's the most unlikely Mr. Mom. NBA superstar Dwayne Wade, D. Wade, turns out to be even more valuable off the court as a devoted father. ABC's Gigi Chang, our good friend, got to hang with D. Wade during the lockout. And uh, you, you, did you shoot some hoops with him a little we bit? We did. We goofed around a lot. I'm just a little. I shot him my stuff. You That's know? right. Got the hoodie on. Exactly. Right. I got the hoodie on. And we were joking around, but really off the court. We had a serious mm -hmm. conversation because he's a serious guy. You know, Dwayne Wade is a single dad who says dads need to step up. He often speaks out against the epidemic of broken homes. And a jaw-dropping 72% of African-American kids are being raised by a single parent, mostly moms. So President Obama even appointed Wade to a White House parenting initiative. But the NBA standout doesn't just talk about fatherhood. He lives it. Drives on Marion, trying to draw contact. Oh, difficult shot from Wade. Miami Heat megastar Dwayne Wade is itching to get back to work. I bet you are. Yeah. Raring to go. I'm raring to go. That's my Christmas present, so I can't wait. But the end of the six-month NBA lockout is also bittersweet, because Wade is also a single dad raising two sons and a nephew, who made all that free time count. You know, just so we can wake up in the morning, we go do something together. Whatever they want to do, bowling, you know, basketball, whatever they want to do, we do it and we just have fun. Because behind the multi-million dollar brand and those superhuman athletics is a doting dad, one who brings surprise birthday cupcakes for his younger son, Zion. Did you do drop off? You know, the boys first moved down and I was like one of the only dads doing like yeah, a lot yeah, of drop offs. Yeah. And uh, they called me Mr. Mom for a while. That's so, so cute. <laughs> Mr. Mom says his parenting instincts were shaped growing up on Chicago's notorious South Side. He was sent to go live with dad after mom got addicted to drugs and wound up homeless. I wasn't going to make those mistakes, so I was going to make sure that I you know, that I did different. It's part of why today Dwayne lives kind of wholesome. No drinking, no drugs, no tattoos. What are the D. Wade house rules? When you come in the house, you get out of your school clothes, you put them in the hamper, you put your shoes away, wash your face, brush your teeth. And Wade never wanted to be a deadbeat dad, despite a bruising three-year custody battle with his high school sweetheart. Not many fathers fight for custody. What made you do that? You know, I wasn't going to let nothing stand in my way of of letting them know that, you know, I'm here, I'm not going nowhere, um, I'm going to be your dad, I'm always going to be your dad, and I'm going to fight. You go Christmas here, you go see mommy here. He's determined to let his kids know that despite the divorce, they have two loving parents. No matter what kind of relationship uh, me and my ex-wife have, my kids love her. And, you know, they days are better when they talk to her. Seven, six. Wade is known for his relentless workouts. Tell the truth, you're totally intimidated by me, right? I'm totally intimidated by you. <laughs> and he wouldn't let me off the hook either. Woo, that was nice. <laughs> Look at that, I got my first NBA assist. He taught me how to dunk in just a few minutes. Well, we kind go. of. <laughs> On the court, I asked the most sensitive question about the dream team that was supposed to go all the way. Wade pulls back, puts up a three. Instead, imploding in the closing moments of the championship game. And that should do it for the Dallas Mavericks. I had to get out of bed, and I didn't want to. I wanted to stay in bed for like a week. Until some unlikely cheerleaders pulled him out of his funk. They kept knocking, they kept coming, and I was just like, I got to get up. Because at that point, I realized that life goes on. Dwayne Wade will be the first to tell you he's a lucky guy. Not because of his life on the court, but because of who's waiting for him Thank when you. he gets off. Come on, who does that? Mm -hmm. Well, Dwayne gives a lot of credit to the people around him to help him from falling through the cracks. It was his grandmother, his sister, his father, his college football coach at Marquette. But one of the most beautiful parts of his story is the forgiveness and the redemption that he found with his mom. She is now a pastor in Chicago and will tell you about the most remarkable gift that he gave her tonight.